All right, welcome to episode 43 of the Midway region. We're still here in Hewitt. Uh, we just about have everything upgraded to high density. We've got a few more mediums coming up here. And it's getting ready to be time to increase our wealth level. So let's see what we're looking at for, for needing wealth. We're actually satisfying almost all of our low wealth jobs, which is very good. So we don't have a whole lot of uh, high wealth to compensate for either. Which should make it pretty easy. How is this coming along? We need 85%? What are we at? 84 and rising. Okay. Let's see here. I kind of wanted to get up to the uh, 600,000, <clears> but I don't think I'll be able to. And I think it actually triggers at 500 anyway, but uh, maybe if we give it a minute, let these upgrade, and we'll see if, it, if we actually hit there while I start planning this. Because I think up here is where we're going to want our high wealth. And then we'll let that fade to medium back here. And then we'll have all low wealth across the bridges. Or maybe a little bit of medium wealth right up against him, but we'll see here. Hmm. Should move this control net facility up here. Although I don't know if I have anywhere to really put it. Maybe I could actually put it right here. Increase this corner's wealth, really. Let's see here. Let's just move the control net. Could fit it in right over here. And yeah, there's nothing really there. Although these guys wouldn't be able to grow up into high density. Alright, we'll put it here. Now that should help out the wealth up here some. <laughs> Hello, Myron. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Looks like we're yelling about too much crime there. What's going on with crime? Hmm. Let's see here. I guess all of our problems are on the far side there, but one of the things that we need to do first is um, start our uh, maglev thing before we start really doing well. Oh, hello, Cram. And play. And oh, Dr. Brony. Nice. It's a little hard to read on the screen. I got to turn up the brightness a little. <laughs> uh, oh, Myron, sorry, you have a question. Uh, how do you upgrade your industry to higher tech? Green industry, I tech level two, but the old factories are still there. Very good question. I actually have a. Um, well, I'll show you a mod that I have that helps show that. Um, right here. So I'm pulling my tech menu map. You'll notice there's this very faint pink line right now. That's because it's 2 a.m. and nobody's attending school. I'll pull it back up at 6 a.m. and you'll see the difference here. <laughs> yeah, but you... Yeah, exactly. Cram says that they, they'll upgrade when they're ready and he's totally right. But the way to, to help understand how this works is um, 
like, like I say, about 5.30 or so, I'll turn that back on. And, and you'll see, as people start attending the school, the tech level fills out the area and, and fills out buildings. So one thing to, to ask, actually, Myron, is do you have um, like a factor, uh, like a processor factory or something in your city? Because that will often soak up a lot of the tech level in order to produce more processors. So here it is. 6 a.m. We'll start having classes. Uh, I think the first classes are at 6. So right around 6.30, 7 o'clock, we'll start seeing that tech line show up. 6.30. Okay, maybe more like 7. <laughs> there it is. So now, now you can see it travels just like an agent and fills up this for people to work there. And then as more students attend, you'll see the pink tech line fill up more. Uh, actually, Cram, I, I don't really do Skype on my solar regions, but this weekend for sure. <laughs> see, there you go. Now you see it's starting to fill these guys up. And you'll, you can watch as your tech level increases. And, and even without this mod, you'll be able to see this, which is this green bar that says your tech level. All, all the pink line mod does is show you where the worker agent is going. Yeah, and it's not about education level, Myron. It's about tech level. And universities and colleges provide tech level, but colleges provide much less. Or uh, community colleges provide much less. And I, I don't have one of those to show you. Um, but I would, if I could. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's the other thing, Myron, um, is that sims don't have an age as far as school is concerned. Oh, and I got a texture glitch over here. That's annoying. Um, yeah, sims don't have an age as far as school is concerned. They uh, they just go to, to school. If there's desks open, they go there. <laughs> oh, look at this. So many people trying to get out of the city that it's back causing backup here, which is causing backup all the way through the tunnel. <laughs> all right. Yeah, exactly, Cram. They treat it like capacity. So let's do this maglev network here. Oh, and we just we straight up need power. All right. So I think. How much are we producing? 288? I think we can produce more in a smaller amount of space with the solar. So let me pause this. And then I think... I think I should be able to take this out here and then just delete the very end of it. And I should be able to fit two. Which means I'll have to move my bus station, terminal, whatever it is. <laughs> I understand you're lonely, Cram, but uh, I don't really, uh, I, I don't do Skype on, on um, solo region. I hate it when these dots are so close together that you can't get a good fit. There you go. I believe I should be able to just like plop them all the way up like this. And actually, even hmm, we'll see. There we go. And see, now we're producing, yeah, capacity 600. And we can even do more here. Well, Cram, you're not a loser. Having friends is boring anyway. Cram <laughs> understand. Are you, are you, like, tweeting like the Hulk now? <laughs> oh, that doesn't fit there. All right, hang on. <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever follow that guy, Drunk, Drunk Hulk? He's funny. Alright, let's see. 
Let's put it the farthest in point then. Then do it. Then do it fit. Oh, it might not. Oh no, it does. Good. Uh, this multi-plopper mod is so handy. Now, if only there was a multi-turn-on, turn-off mod. Friends? Sounds like a myth. <laughs> we can be friends, Cram. That's okay. <laughs> there we go. Now oh, we should be good for quite a while. Almost forgot the sign. And then, of course, we'll have no power for a second, but... Till the hour ticks over. I guess until they hire, geez. There we go, got one of them up and running. And there's the other one. Should be going here. <clears throat> Damsel in distress. I'm glad you like it here. <laughs> I really wish this traffic exiting the city weren't so... I mean, like, it, this is all just people trying to get out. It's craziness. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll put the bus station back in, but at this particular instance, I'm debating putting in the fusion power plant. How much control net do I have? Not nearly enough. So we're not going to do the fusion power plant. <laughs> we'll just start laying our maglev here. Oh, sorry, Dr. Brony. I'm, I'm not doing roads uh, on this particular episode, but we're going to start our other half of the region here in a minute. In, well, you know, in, in an episode or so, uh, as soon as we get this one, all the, you know, I's crossed and T's dotted and stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm going to upgrade this. Which... I actually want to put in... Probably a school of business. No, we're going to need a maglev station. Oops, that's in transit. Oh, yes. Buses. Should put the bus terminal back here on this dirt road. <laughs> Maybe if my city wasn't boring, they wouldn't want to leave. Yeah, that's true. I gotta, I gotta put some parts down, spice it up as soon as I put these maglevs in. Why is it saying I'm online but offline? I don't understand what you're saying. I'm online. In many respects. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm gonna want one right in here. 
And I'm definitely gonna want one over here. Any other key places we're gonna want a maglev? Probably right there. I don't think there's any other really big key places for maglev other than like here and here. I haven't played Transport Tycoon. I hear it's fun, but I don't know. I haven't played the ty Tycoon games in a long time. Oh, uh, Damsel in Distress, yeah, Control Net is a Cities of Tomorrow thing. Wow, really? Only the top 750 broadcasts are watchable on mobile? That's weird. So, I assume I'm not in that since there are seven people, including myself, watching. <laughs> I mean, luckily everyone's chatting, which is great. That's always the fun part. <clears throat> but, alright. So now that I have those in place, let's put the middle parts of the maglev in. We'll need one here. And here. And, oh, wow. Alright, I guess here. In fact, since I have to do it that way. Let's just put it as far up here as we can. Or maybe as far back here. Mmm, good question. Uh, how about as far up here? And then we'll do the side. I could almost go over there, but let's actually do this one and then this one. And then we'll just do like halfway points. <laughs> Number one, if you ask me, well, thank you. <laughs> I agree, Mento. Small interactive streams are always better. It's a more intimate setting. You get to know your host a little. <laughs> Well, URL not found on mobile Safari, like, like you gotta, you know, twitch.tv slash tenvec, and, and I'm just, I don't exist to them. Thanks, Twitch. Makes me feel real confident. I think I'm gonna have to put in another control net thing. Well, uh, I don't know. When I increase wealth, it should actually should be fine. Because I don't think I'm going to have enough control net to power all these guys right away. Well, that's just totally weird, Sir Nuts. You know, let me know what you figure out, because that's... And if people want to watch my broadcast, I'm, maybe I can let them know what to do. Alright. And then I don't think we're going to have Maglev back here. Like at all. So let's start connecting these. I should really just be able to connect these straight up and be fine. Because they would go away from the road. Okay. 
and connect it here. Now it's working. All right. I must have I must have gotten bumped up nine people now. Hey, see, play was having the same problem. So maybe they're like throttling broadcasts with less than a certain amount of people watching, which is really kind of a you know an, an asshole move. <laughs> Go, just connect all of these. Uh, I suppose we can connect a couple. We can connect like every other middle thing. Except here we'll have one that runs all the way across the middle. That might look cool. Oops. Zoom in at the maglevs. They look pretty cool. And more connections. Connect, I say. There we go. Again. There we go. <laughs> Send you a copy of SimCity? Yeah, like I can afford that. <laughs> right, I think I've played 800 hours on one game. I need to get my money's worth. <laughs> these texture issues with modernized or with you know futurized roads it's super annoying Basically doing the same thing we did on the other side. And connect here. Maybe we'll connect this one. How much was this one? Um, I, th I mean, depending on the time, like I would definitely watch out, like watch for it if you if you want to buy the game, just like watch for it on Origin, and um, they'll have a, a deal. They have deals often where you can get some city and Suze of tomorrow for like thirty dollars uh, American dollars. I, I don't know. It's the internet, you know. I don't know where you're from, so. Hello, kind of 808. Well, let's see, what kind of a maglev track is this going to make if I draw across here? Ugh. Wow. It'll actually let me do that, too. That's crazy. 
it actually kind of looks cool. If this weren't so lumpy, it looks like a real big raised up bridge, but. Um, yeah, um, you want me to friend you on Origin? Um, sure, just a second here. There you go. Now I just need to connect this part up. You know what I'd actually rather do? Take this out. Oh. Why are there unpowered buildings? We still have excess power. Weird. Dr. Brony, <clears throat> I don't use Facebook. Sorry. Oh, the maglev station? Um, I actually, I believe this one came with the multi-plopper to help you plop the ones on uh, small roads. Like, this one kind of defaults to big roads, and this one defaults to small roads. So, if you've ever had trouble getting the small... Um, the small road maglev to, to work because because I have in the past, um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that came with the multi plopper. That's not horrendous. There we go. What's this saying? Classroom is full. Well, there's 11,000 students in the city. I'd expect so. But that's going to drop soon because uh, higher wealth buildings of higher densities have less uh, room. Oh, that's right. I was going to see what it looks like if I connect these. Okay. We can do that. We won't connect that. But we will connect this. And I won't bother with that. There, right, now we should have... Yeah, so look, we have 31,000 people read the maglev. Hells yeah. Um, not doing Omega in this city, kinda. But I am gonna start wealthing these guys up. <clears throat> oh, which, speaking of, how are we doing on... Oh, we actually have plenty of control net. Cool. Well, sort of. Anyway, let's look at land value here. And we need this, and this. I always like to put in hot air balloon parks, but they take up so much room. I mean, they're, like, gigantic. I don't want to take out that many, you know, buildings. Although that would actually... 
No, because then it takes out the one next to it. Yes. Let's say that would actually kind of work. Maybe I'll do that anyway. Yeah, because see, that really helps out. Oh, and you can't edit them either. What storm? I, I don't, there's, there's not a big storm where I'm at, so. What storm, to what storm are you referring? <laughs> That should actually be just fine. And, ha and that helped out our wealth level in this area quite a bit. Hmm. Hmm. So this going to take, yeah, so it doesn't have to take out two buildings. Snow, sleet, icy rain. Oh, that's always a good time. <clears throat> we'll let that develop for just a second. And we'll see where we're at on our wealth charts here. Uh, main source of income in this city, kind of 808, is um, tax. This is just a tax city. And we, we also export our recycled goods. Which, once, we're, once we have high wealth, that's pretty much where we'll be making any money at all. <laughs> Too much crime. Man. There's just such a just pile of cars in and out of the city. That's crazy. Uh, no kind of 808. This is a, um, this is a, uh, solo region. So, um, this weekend when I do Let's Plays and stuff, um, then yes, you're welcome, more than welcome to join me, but not, not currently. Let's see here. I'm going to want to put in another part. Down here, possibly. Well, actually, those are disrupted anyway. There's not enough room for three of those, so. This is wider, right? Yeah, it's a lot wider. So what if we just do this? And put one of these next to it. I do not have SimCity for the DS. I would find that tedious. I would miss having a mouse and keyboard. So I kind of want it to be, I, I guess we're going to go for a mixture of medium and high wealth in this area. And this one... 
Okay, you're all like, yeah, you're all right on top of each other, so I don't think... I don't think I'll be able to build one of these sideways and make it fit. Is this one any smaller? No. And neither is that. Dang it! Well, you know what? We're just gonna do one of these anyway, because I want to. There we go. And we have our hot air balloons coming out of the city. I always like the hot air balloon parks. This is SimCity 2013. I should do something over here. Maybe we'll put an amphitheater in. Hmm. Let's do this. And then we'll put something in here. Yeah, that ought to work. Oh, and you can edit the amphitheater. But you just get more of these. You can't, like, put a second amphitheater on or something. Oh, that would be kind of cool. I can't fit... Oh, I can fit some of these in. Hmm, I actually don't like that. We're gonna move it in one more. Now we have a big swath of high density in here, or of high wealth in here. And that should help clean up a lot of this, a little bit of unemployment and stuff. Uh, Dr. Brony Gamer, I'm going to do a region tour episode kind of at the end of this, but... Um, <clears throat> I can kind of give you a real quick one of the other cities. There's, um, these two are oil, uh, Omega Industrial Sectors number one and two, and they produce a lot of industrial and Omega. This is, uh, Beckville. It's a tourism gambling town. This is, uh, Funway Park. It's got a really big amusement park right here at the edge of the, the bay. Uh, Cliffside. Is the first town in here in, in that we built in the, in this region, and uh, it's got a um, it's mostly industrial and produces uh, processors and stuff. In Telegary Mesa is um, the high wealth uh, research city that, that we built. It's got a you can actually see the uh, academy here at the end, um, and it's got all sorts of fun stuff. So. And this side, although you can't see it from here, has an arcology is the great work, and this side has an international airport is a great work. When we do this side over here, we're going to do a space center is a great work, and that should be fun. Just a quick overview of the region. We got some of these high wealth, high density buildings finally coming in. And we'll, we'll work on our satisfaction and our unemployed soon here. We just need to get everybody shifted around into their jobs that they're supposed to be in. <laughs> S 
so many people. Just consistent traffic there, that's crazy. I could even extend. Where are we here? Could even extend things into here farther, but I kind of want to let stuff develop first. See what happens. I don't, Dr. Brony Gamer. Sorry, I don't know where you can get some city for free. I bet traffic on this lower road is just packed now. Yeah. All just people trying to get to and from, you know, work and wherever they're going in, in and out of the city and whatnot. <laughs> you can see the traffic above too. That's pretty crazy. Oh, Dr. Brony Gamer, I'm not going to bother with parks near my industry because um, they're. I want those to be low wealth people over there. That actually worked out pretty well. Just a little scheme down here. It's all just backed up like all the way across. It's crazy. What do you mean, Tommy, do the mag love? I already did. There's mag love in the city. 69,000 people are riding it with zero minute wait. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, everyone should, uh, this traffic should all just be commuters in and out of the city then. Which right now is mostly just low wealth shoppers. Oh, and our low wealth, uh, workers are commuting out. We got all those to up there. This one might stay small unless I work at it. Oh, totally did get. Uh... Okay, let me zoom in on them. I totally got some um, frat houses. And they look like they, yeah, they're all futurized and stuff too. It's kind of cool. Frat house of the future. <laughs> oh, you mean follow the maglev on uh, on the tracks? I could. Have to grab one here if I can. There we go. Oh. Probably 
problem is, is that they disappear often. <laughs> yeah, I figured you'd like, like that, Sir Notes. I don't know, maglev trains are kind of boring to follow. They're, they're, I guess they're neat, but they, you know, they stop kind of a lot. They're not all that fun. I mean, kinda. So. Yeah, we're not making nearly as much money as we were now. <laughs> The traffic inside the city seems to be much better. So we still got these guys increasing in wealth. And we're starting to have some available jobs in low wealth. Man, these all people that are just like commuting back in, that's crazy. Piling in. <laughs> I really hate this texture glitch. Because the road isn't even there. Like, if I pull out the bulldozer, like you can see where the road is. And it's just it's a stupid texture glitch. Looking pretty cool so far. Still got some more wealthing up in the back here. We'll start balancing this city soon. Brony, I already zoomed on the maglev. Don't have any abandoned buildings. Let me zoom into the highway into town. It's just traffic. Freight shipments doing well for those guys. Let's see here. Filling out most of our... I mean, we're really filling everything out pretty well. Do still have some unsatisfied low well. As far as uh, shopping goes. Yeah, these guys need to hurry up and finish commuting into the city. Super annoying. And they're stupid about their traffic, too. You see, they're all backed up, like, way back at this point, because they're, I don't know, trying to be weird. <laughs> but up here, traffic is basically flowing smoothly. I'm not sure what's going on with these guys. And then, of course, now traffic's backed up getting out of the city because they are down to one single lane here. <laughs> uh, actually, Tommy has still got about ten minutes left. I'm keeping everything distracted there. 
making lots of recyclables here. Which means that we're probably not even picking up all of our recyclables because we can't process them all. Put another one of these back here. Don't need any collection trucks, but we will need the delivery trucks. And process even more raw materials. Because, yeah, we're not collecting all of our recyclables here. are collecting all of our garbage. Are we burning it all off? Wow, we're still we're still just on the one incinerator. Let's fire the second one up here. Oh, and probably turn a couple of these on. There we go. Wow, they already filled that one up halfway. That's just a huge amount of recyclables. Which is actually good. It gave me something to do with that space. So I was trying to figure out what to do with it. Looks like we might be finally done with people trying to commute into the city. For the moment. <laughs> At least as many people commuting in. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm lying. Yeah, because now we're back to a line. It seems so close to emptying out, and then it just fills right back up. You think it's the buses causing outbound traffic issues? Oh, you mean these guys? Yeah, I thought I thought I, I think you might be right. I wonder if it would be helped if I did this. If I move, if I just put a line of road in like this, mm, not quite like that, <laughs> like this. Mm, still is gonna do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking here, trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. What if... We finally got our inbound traffic issue. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, well, where, where am I going to put these freaking buses? 
I guess we can lose some industry. Um. Can't even go there. Problem is adding on to it, I'm gonna mess up what's behind. Let's do this. Oh, but I want the other side. Let's go and bulldoze this road over here. Yeah, I think you're right, sir. Notes. It's probably what was causing a lot of that backup going in, but I mean, it's still just a ton of traffic coming into the city. All just from these guys commuting in? Oh, freight. Why is there freight commuting in? I have freight commuting out. Why is it commuting in and out? Huh. <laughs> yeah, sir, notes. Love that multiplot. <laughs> Welcome back, kinda. Kind of 808. <laughs> Most of these guys are up, all wealthed up now. Still got a couple that need to upgrade in density. But for the most part, all wealthed up. Huh, there's another. Another, um, frat house. Or sorority house, I guess it could be. Either way. These guys have a cool, like, exhaust thing going on. A futurized house. Oh, yeah, look at that. Fancy. These guys have a futurized frat house. Like, bubble tubes and solar panels and green panels. I'm not sure what the green panels are supposed to do, but... <laughs> Ah, see, yeah. You know what, Sir Notes? Thank you. That's that solved like all the traffic problems there. Now everybody's flowing in and out pretty smooth. And we're still. I I don't know if I'm ever gonna get near collecting all the garbage because. I mean, we're, we're like full everywhere. Oh. No, it looks like we did collect all the garbage. Nice. Apart from, like, one little thing here and there. But it is that time again. We're at our hour mark. I know you're all gonna cry to see me go. <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We'll uh, finish tweaking a few more things in this city for the next episode. Probably wealth up just a little bit more of it. And then after that, I think we're going to start our Space Center section of the region. So if you want to catch what I do live, just follow me on Twitch and you'll be notified when I start streaming. And if you want to watch what I do after the fact, I put it all up on YouTube as well. Uh, at least these episode things. The Let's Play stuff I don't, but uh, I do put these episodes up on YouTube. So you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll, uh, you, know, you can catch everything there as well. Again, I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.